fluorescence on the reef is, is truly astonishing. If you take a, um, a bright blue light down at night time and look at coral, it glows back at you greens and oranges and reds and pinks and all sorts of lovely colours. Hardly anyone in the scientific community has looked beyond the coral. The odds of you going in the water and finding something, you might not be aware of it, but the odds of you finding something, seeing some animal fluorescent that no one else in the history of the universe has ever seen is probably over 90% anywhere in the world, simply because so few people have done this. So taking our blue lights, we are pioneers on a journey of discovery. And in astonishing behavior never filmed before, the animals reveal phenomena still far from understood. The banded coral shrimp is only fluorescing on her fishnet-like mandibles and in a small dot at the end of each claw and pincer. Applied like nail polish, this perhaps allows her to see the tip of her appendages precisely. It allows us to clearly see how she captures tiny copepods and prey. Not far away, a fireworm blends with the surrounding corals. Or does he? Excited by our blue prototype, another secret is revealed as he shows us what he's truly made of. The most surprising thing is that not only invertebrates are fluorescent, but also other animals and fish, like this lizardfish. The fluorescent markings on fish are astonishing. He looks pretty, but we can only speculate why this goby chooses to emit such colours from his eyes and spine. For the fish, for the animals on the reef, it's really wanting to say something. They're using fluorescence as part of their colour communication channel. It's a way of being even more colourful than, than colourful, if you like. 